yo 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 what's up y'all my name is Raynell Roy welcome back to my channel fishing trips back for another vlog and I'm doing something a little different today okay I'm not doing salt water hold on wait don't click off the video let me explain goddamn let me explain all right now in order to bring more content to the channel I want to post twice a week once on Tuesday and once on Friday okay problem is I live in Houston and I'm not trying to drive to Galveston twice a week that's 130 miles round trip no thank you I think not no 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 so what I'm going to do is is something that's different right well not different well different for the channel I'm gonna call it Freshwater Tuesday. Freshwater Tuesday is coming to the channel. So basically what I'm going to be doing is going around Houston and surrounding areas, fishing some freshwater spots to give it a try. And I'm gonna drop the location of where I'm fishing at. So I hope you enjoy the vlog. Typically, when you have saltwater people do fish, you know, freshwater vlogs, they, they flop. You know what I'm saying? They really don't get no views. People, they just wanna see speckled trout, flounder, and red. That's all they wanna see. They don't wanna see catfish, crappy, rainbow trout. They don't wanna see none of that. But goddamn it, I'ma make it entertaining anyway. All right, so if you like Freshwater Tuesday, thumbs up and hit the thumbs up, smash it. I need 100 likes. 100 likes and I'm gonna continue Freshwater Tuesday. All right, sorry for yelling. Enjoy the vlog. Let's go. y'all so let's get this day started in the beautiful city of Katy Texas so I got my little fake hash reel people want to know what I have it's the Lewis smash um, I'm gonna start the day with some top water um, apparently like to say the type of fish out here are like um, bass um, catfish and apparently like in December they stock it with rainbow trout something like that so I'm gonna have to come back um, I never fished this area before. Don't know what to expect. <sighs> so we'll try it out. We'll definitely try it out. Start the day off with a little bird's nest tradition. If you have a bait cast reel, it is tradition that you start the day off with a bird's nest. Because if you don't, that's bad luck. That's bad luck. So we'll start the day off at. Now right now I see about one, two, three, four, four fishermen out here. I noticed that they all got like their poles kind of set up if it was like saltwater fishing. So I think they're targeting like catfish. Um, I do got my spin cast reel in a truck along with some catfish bait as a backup plan. Now personally I haven't went freshwater fishing in years, years. So what I'm going to anticipate and do is do some fresh water, right? Then if that's kind of slow, apparently these guys know something up. I'll get my spin cast reel, catfish bait, and see what's popping. All right. As you can see, there is a large population of bolsters. Look at this. It's amazing. It has to be easily 50 vultures. Now why the hell did I decide to walk over here? I don't know. Let's give you a closer look. I'm not sure why the vulture population over here is so extreme, but as you can see, they're heavy, right? So there's just as many vultures as there are ducks. I'm not sure what the regulations for eating vultures are. Not sure if vultures actually taste good, but if I don't catch a catfish, I'm eating one of these. I'll be the first person on YouTube to do a catch, clean, and cook on a vulture. Don't knock it till you try, people. All right, let's go check on our poles because I haven't caught nothing yet, and it's been a few hours. So I'm just waiting it out, working on my tan. Getting a nice caramel complexion. Mm, let's see what we can do. Now I got a backup plan, y'all. I got a backup plan. The backup plan is if I can't catch a catfish, I'm gonna catch a duck. Is that a bite? 
And if I can't catch a duck, I'm gonna catch a squirrel. And if I can't catch a squirrel, I'm eating one of them damn vultures. I'm 100% confident them, them vultures probably taste like chicken. Put some barbecue sauce or hot sauce on it. I don't give a damn what it is. If you deep fry it with hot sauce, it's gonna taste good. Now, I'm not sure if it's illegal to kill a vulture, but it's only one way to find out. Comment below if I'm going to jail for doing a catch, clean, and cook on a vulture. 300 likes, and I do a catch, clean, and cook on a squirrel, virtual, virtual <laughs> vulture, and a duck. Same vlog, next vlog. That's what I'm gonna do. But if I catch a catfish, then we won't have these problems. So God, if you're listening, if you care about these damn ducks, vultures, and squirrels, let me get a catfish. Help! Got him. Nice. Three hours, y'all. Been out here three hours, no bites. So I can only account for why that is. Some fishermen might tell you that it could be wind related, temperature, lunar with the moon, but actually, I can tell you exactly what it is. I can tell you what it is. The fish are racist. Yep, that's right. If you come to Tatey, Katy, Texas, just know that these damn fish are racist, all right? I don't know what it is, but apparently the fish have some kind of pack of segregation that if you're of the African American descent, they're not gonna bite your line. That's the only thing that makes sense. The only thing that makes sense. It's all good though. It's all good though. But you know what? I'm in the city. I still got Whataburger. As long as, as long as I got water burger, I'ma eat. I don't eat no fish. Get a patty melt with some fries and a malt. Yeah, that's what I'ma do. Forget these fish. Care about no fish. Texas water burger. What a fish. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. Forget these crazy fish. Or that duck. I'm going to eat that duck. Update, okay. Now, earlier before I mentioned my theory that the fish out here are racist, therefore that's why I haven't been catching. But um, there's some people like over there that just got here maybe like 15 minutes ago and they're using popping corks and they're catching fish. Um, they're black, yeah, they're black. So um, just disregard that earlier statement about the Katy fish being racist. Obviously they're not, it is obviously my skills as a fisherman is just trash. I'm a man enough to admit that, okay? I'm man enough to admit my mistakes. I think I just got a bite. Did I just get a bite? I'm man enough to admit my mistakes, all right? I was wrong. I apologize, Katie. Your fish aren't racist. You have equal opportunity fish. I'm just a equal opportunity trash fisherman when it comes to water, salt water and fresh water and anything that's aqua. Y'all, they just caught another fish. Now, more specifically, I was in that same spot earlier and I said like, there's no fish over here, everything's dead. I was so wrong, so so very wrong. So the moral of the vlog today is, anything I say do, if you do the exact opposite, you are guaranteed to catch fish. Repeat, anything that I advise in my vlogs, if you do the exact opposite, you will catch fish. God damn it, y'all. 
I'm going over there and figure out what they're using because it's on floaties and they're catching. Wait, wait, what the hell? No. Dude, they caught another fish. Oh my God. All right, y'all. Here's the rule of fishing. If you're fishing and you're not catching nothing, but you see other people around you are catching fish, check this out. This might be a little controversial. You take all your gear, you walk over to the exact same location where they're catching fish at, throw your bait one foot away from their bait and just wait. Now I know some people might say that's not proper fishing etiquette, but you know what? Survival of the fittest, man, it's 2020. Do I want to be nice or do I want to catch fish? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's one of me, there's about five of them. I think I can take them, I think I can take them. Then again, I'm not really trying to die in Katy, Texas, trying to catch some damn perch. That's not a good way to die. It's not a good way to go to jail. I can't go to prison and they ask me, what am I in for? And I'm like, yo, I was fighting this family over a fishing spot. I wouldn't last in jail, man. I wouldn't last in jail. Too pretty for that. I'm not built for that, man. So I think I'm just gonna have to stay right here. If I'm gonna stay out of jail, I need to stay right here and not move anywhere. I'm going over there to figure out what they're using. I think I can just leave these poles here because clearly they're not catching crap. I hate it here. Anyway, let's go explore. Let's go explore and figure out what they're using. Yeah, man. Yeah. They're using floaties, but we gotta see this. We definitely gotta see this. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I'll be damned. If everybody and their mama catching fish besides me. That's crazy. It's all good though. I'm about to catch though. Relocate. Plan B. Plan B. Relocate. Relocate. I'm going right over there. I'm catching a damn fish. I don't care if they don't like it. I don't care. I'm catching the fish, man. Make me look dumb on my vlog. Now salt water? Okay. I can look bad on salt water. But I'd be damned if I'm about to get skunked on some goddamn man-made lake that put fish in here. It's like literally fish in a barrel. What the hell? Come on, y'all. Let's go. Let's go, goddamn. We're catching some fish. We're catching some damn fish or die trying. I would die for the vlog for a million views. Said it once. Said it a thousand times. We're dying for this vlog. Hopefully, if I get hit, they don't hit me in my face. I can take that family and I'm going over there and taking their fishing spot. I don't care. Let's go. Let's go. All right, y'all. So basically we relocated because this is where all the people that are fishing, you know, the guy I spoke to earlier, he's over here. We have another guy here, There's family over here. So yeah, I'm just going to set up. Now something they're doing differently, I say they're using like floaties. So. Of course, I didn't bring my tackle box that has my floaties in it because that would have been convenient. Wait a minute, do I have a floaty? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. All right, y'all. We about to rig something up, B. We about to rig something up. There's fish out here. There's fish out here. Can I get whatever the hell they're catching? Oh, there goes a bite. There goes a bite. 
so we can got it. There it goes a bite, y'all. We on. We on. We on, y'all. We on for the vlog. We are on for the vlog. Wait. What the hell is that? That's a nice one. That's a nice one. We on, y'all. We on for the vlog. We on for the vlog. We on for the vlog, y'all. Finally. Finally, we on for the vlog, y'all. We on for the vlog, y'all. We on for the vlog, y'all. I know. We on for the vlog, y'all. We on for the vlog, y'all. There we go. All right, there we go, y'all. We are on for the vlog. Finally, four hours, y'all. Four hours for this damn fish. Do you see that? Four hours for this fish. Let's get into sunlight. So, it took four hours to catch the damn fish. Oh, yeah. And shout out to the people who helped me how to figure it out because I didn't know what the hell to do. Y'all yeah. keeping fish? Y'all huh? keeping it? Man, we already got four hours. Are you good? Right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's a nice fish, y'all. Finally caught one. So, yeah. Yeah, I can give it to you. Yeah, that's. I, I'm not gonna lie. Only reason I caught it because of y'all. I'm like, what are they doing? I just came out here and did the same thing y'all did. Yeah. If y'all want it, I give it to you. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go, y'all. Finally. Oh my God. That took forever in a day. So what I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna give them this catfish because. Like I say, shout out to them because they are the ones that kind of explain to me what had to be done to get this fish. Let me take a picture of it. Let me take a picture of it. I gotta switch, I gotta switch coolers now. But. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good catch. Absolutely, man. Just mind taking a picture for me real quick? Yeah, I like got it. you. Let me clean off a little bit. Alright. Yeah, you know, black people, we gotta get that light. Yeah, <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> That'll work. Let's put it up in that way. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Oh yeah, that's a nice one, right there. Yeah, that's, <laughs> hey, that's Jaws, babe. <laughs> that is a big one, huh? I appreciate man, it, man. No problem. They like, man, they like this all the time out here. Oh, for real? Yeah. So y'all using worms? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's my first time coming out here and fishing. Really? Yeah, I've been out before, but never fished. Just wanted to try it out. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not bad out here. Yeah. Uh huh. Nice, man. I yeah, appreciate, appreciate you, man. You too. Y'all be safe. <laughs> there we go, y'all. I told you. It took four hours, but I finally got a fish. I'm happy. The vlog can be completed now. So yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We're gonna end on a high note and that's it. So I told y'all, I know how to catch fish. Don't ever doubt me again. I know earlier I said, just do the opposite. I lied. Just do what I said and you'll catch fish. Simple as that. You'll catch fish, simple as that. So it's been real. Um, I might try to catch fish again. My heart's still beating. You can hear it in my voice. But yeah, if I continue to fish, then we'll see. If not, Enjoy the vlog. I hope you enjoyed the first edition of Fresh Fish Tuesday. I hope you're back next Tuesday for another spot. Peace.